One thing the recent French film festival has proved is that there's another successful business plan for the movies, apart from the one dominating Hollywood at the moment. Films like The Innocent hark back to an earlier time when films came from a few bright ideas and original characters and didn't depend on endless remakes and franchises based on elderly blueprints. T'es sorti quand déjà de prison? Il y a une semaine. Qu'est-ce que tu vas faire maintenant pour une interview? Là, je vais faire un peu d'intérim. It also helps if it's the work of a hot new auteur. In this case, star, writer and director Louis Garrel. He plays Abel, whose mother, Sylvie, teaches theatre at the local prison. Abel's disgusted when Sylvie falls for her leading man, an ex-burglar called Michelle, and marries him just before his release. Abel ropes in the lovely Clémence to help spy on Mum's shifty new husband. Celui avec le col roulé noir, là, tu le vois, là? Oh, putain. Quoi? Mais les canons. Sylvie! Et qu'il est le troisième en dix ans, tu l'as prévenu aussi, ou pas? C'est plus une prison, c'est un club de rencontre. Je suis ta mère, quand même! Je m'en fous, t'es complètement folle! Now, should I mention that Abel is a scientist who works at the City Aquarium, that he and Clémence are just good friends, though Clémence thinks he needs to get over the death of his wife and have some fun, or that Abel's mother is quitting the theatre game to go into business with Michelle, though who knows how Michelle's paid for their new shop? Because, like so many films in this year's French festival, the intricate construction of the plot is much of its appeal. Like an old-fashioned Swiss watch, there are so many independent wheels and levers pushing the story to a satisfying conclusion. On m'a dit, c'est quoi cette fois-ci C'est le smartphone Du caviar. 3000 euros le kilo <laughs> Tu appelles tout de suite et tu dis oui En plus, vous faites ça en famille the conservative, risk-averse Abel may be at the centre of the increasingly complicated story, but writer-director Louis Garrel surrounds him with more colourful characters. Passionate theatre star Sylvie, cool ex-crim Michelle trying to go straight, and gorgeous loose cannon Clémence, the last person you want to have on board in a tricky caviar robbery. C'est que je pourrais te faire descendre dans la journée si je voulais. Ah non, tu peux pas puisque t'aimes le maire. Si je te donne la moitié, tu le fais avec moi Despite the innocent's apparent French farce origins, it owes just as much to that country's classic new wave heist movies of the 50s and 60s. Garel even looks a little bit like John Paul Belmondo in a certain light. Ça va, tout va bien? Il est menaçant ou pas? Vas-y, réponds oui ou non. Tu veux que je vienne ou pas? Euh, bah écoute, on se, on se voit tout à l'heure. Vous me le passez? Euh, je te passe Michel qui veut te parler. And like a French New Wave film, The Innocent borrows freely from the auteur's real life. Louis Garel's mother not only taught theatre in prisons, but she also married one of the inmates. And while it's safe to say that what happened next came entirely from Garel's imagination, it explains the unique flavour of the film. Not quite comedy, not quite crime drama, not quite romance. Il se soit toujours à la même table, comme ça. Il a un œil sur son camion. Donc ça nous laisse à peu près 40 minutes. Il faudra 10 15 de plus. Pourquoi elle n'arrête pas le chauffeur Non, c'est clair et net, c'est nous. Je veux non. draguer le chauffeur. Si tu, tu restes assis. Je veux draguer non, le chauffeur. Carrel's deadpan demeanor works particularly well opposite Noémie Merlon as Clémence. Surprisingly, her background was almost entirely straight drama before The Innocent in films like Portrait of a Lady on Fire and Tar opposite Kate Blanchett. Now, I say surprisingly, Noémie's hilarious in this. <laughs> But as I suggested at the start, it's so refreshing to see a film constructed the traditional organic way. First, a script that takes real life in a smart, well-constructed direction, and then a cast of unpredictable characters, and finally an ending that ties all the loose ends together so deftly you didn't see it coming. Tu veux vraiment savoir ce que j'en pense, là Ouais, s'il te plaît. Parce que ça peut être d'une violence extrême, hein, ce que je vais te dire. T'aimes pas le pantalon 
Mind you, such success is by no means automatic. The fact that The Innocent has done so well at festivals, it also notably won a César for best script, indicates that merely being French is no guarantee of cinematic greatness, but it clearly doesn't hurt.